All right, version 18, we have universal menu and multi-browser support, which we kind of already had, right? Yeah, we've continued iterations and updates on. One of the cool things I wanted to show you is you can change the color. Uh, voice commands don't really work. Another firmware release for the Oculus Quest, this time it's version 18. It's got some fun and interesting new features and some that are just meh. Nah. So anyhow, let's check it out. So check this out, the layout is different. Um, I'm using the new layout. Now these aren't colored anymore. The controller and headset charging information. Up here, uh, they changed unknown sources back to over here. I like how they changed the panel. This is unknown sources. And another thing I really like is now you can uninstall from unknown sources, which is something I've wanted to do for a while. I thought it would be a great idea. So this is great. I really like this. So how do I get to the main menu? This is what I'm confused about. Where's the home? Is there a library button? I don't see a library. Maybe it's just, huh. Okay, so they changed it to this. I guess. Um, oh, here we go. You go to Quest and it is, you have to go up to All. Okay, so this is a little bit confusing, but you just go up here, make sure it's, it's set to, or well, I guess not on Unknown Sources. I guess Unknown Sources is the only one that gets rid of all these navigational icons. That might be an oversight because that's confusing. Change Unknown Sources to anything other than Unknown Sources. All right, home, boom. One of the cool things I wanted to show you is you can change the color of your guardian. Look at this. Blue, which is default, yellow and purple. That's really cool. See, here, let's do, let me change it here so we can see it. Looking down at an angle will make your guardian boundary appear on the floor. There we go. Look, it's purple. And now let's change it to yellow. Ooh, I like the yellow. You know what? He's tracking. I really like the yellow. The yellow is very cool. I think I'm gonna keep it yellow. And then of course we have the default blue. I'm gonna put it to yellow. Let's read the official documentation on this. See what it says. All right, version 18. We have universal menu and multi-browser support, which we kind of already had, right? Yeah, we've continued iterations and updates on the redesigned universal menu that was released as an opt-in feature of version 15. These include design updates to streamline usability and improve discoverability of system apps. Just a side note, I like these updates, I use them. Store, library, browser, combined library and apps into a single panel, okay? Changing the UI kind of can be confusing at first but it can be for the better. The universal menu will now be accessible as an overlay from within a number of Quest apps. Cool. Improve the multi-browser experience that allows you to have multiple windows open when browsing the internet in VR. Introducing VR tooltips, we've made it easier for you to find and learn how to use new and popular VR features. Look out for tooltips that help guide you through your journey in VR. Cool. Keyboard, the Oculus in VR keyboard will now utilize predictive text to make typing in VR more efficient. Guardian, you'll now be able to change the color of your Guardian boundary. You can enable this feature by selecting, okay, settings, Guardian, Guardian boundary. Yeah, yellow, yellow all the way. Uh, notifications, we've made updates to in VR and in-app notifications. These include, you can now fine tune your in VR notification preferences from the settings panel. To do this, select settings, device, notifications, Fine, you can fine tune them. Let's see, what does that look like? Settings, settings, device, notifications. Oh, okay. Learn about the experiences you use, friend, what your friends are doing. Oh, yeah, sure, let's see that. Codes and credits, updates, reminders about available codes. And, yeah, recommendations, sure. Sales promotions, sure, tips, yeah, okay, messages, yeah. That's cool, all right, I like that. Let's check out what else they got going on. Added the ability to interact with notifications. Example, screenshot saved. Press the Oculus button to view your photos. Mm, I've already had that. I don't know that it's really something new. Added additional info within the notification to help you understand what you're seeing. Example, check out this app because you tried Y app. I've had that before already. Is this really new? It doesn't seem like it. 
Updated notification styling. Okay, please note that these features may only be available to a percentage of users at this time. Social, you can now share NVR content or ask a friend to join you in an app or experience in VR via Messenger. I wonder if that's limited because I can't imagine you could just download a commercial, you install a commercially or get a paid app and then have a friend join you on it. it must, it's probably got to be limited somehow. This can be done by selecting share messenger and then choosing who you'd like to share with. Now when you save a VR post on Facebook, it will show up in your notifications panel the next time you put on your headset. If the post includes an app, okay, now you now when you save a VR post, okay, it'll show up. If the post includes an app link and you already have the app installed, you'll be able to open the app directly from the notification. If you don't have the app installed, you can select the app link to download the app from the Oculus Store. Voice this is interesting. Voice commands is now available to all US English speaking users. They got some interesting stuff here. Check this out. You can enable voice command by clicking on the icon in the Oculus menu or enabling the controller shortcut, which allows you to double press the Oculus button to activate voice commands. All right, let's check that out. Let's see. Tracking lossy. This thing always does this to me. It's like, oh, what? Tracking? I don't have any tracking. And now it's got tracking. Look at that beautiful yellow. Okay. All right, double tap. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything. Double tapped it, nothing. So let's see what we got. The voice commands icon is located next to the microphone icon. You can also find voice commands in your Oculus Home menu. I can't find it anywhere. It's not next to the microphone icon. Let's look in the Home menu. Let's see. Home. Okay, this is the Home menu. I do not see voice activation anywhere in here. Nope, do not see it. Okay, there's the microphone icon. Nope, it's not there. Guardian, storage, applications, virtual environment, experimental features. Okay, why do you get hung up? Okay, this thing is bugging out. I click on about and it doesn't, there we go. Developer, experimental features. I don't know. Let's try restarting this thing. See if that makes any difference. Let's see. Start casting. Start casting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and restart this thing. Let's see what we got. I'm actually going to shut it down. Ooh, they've got a different... Check it out. they got a different looking menu. Notice this on the Oculus Go today as well. Let's first power it off. All right. Let's try this again. Let's try the voice stuff here. Let me double tap on the... Oculus button. Trying. It worked once, and then when I was like, no, I don't want you to store my information, they're like, you know what, how's about we don't work then? If you're not going to let us store your information, how's about forget it? It didn't tell me that it was going to entirely forego the ability to use voice commands. I have an idea. Let's force it to launch. Let's go into Oculus TV, apps, let's find the voice app in here. Do sort by name. Where is it? Oh, that's right. It's a system app, isn't it? So I have to show the system apps. Well, voice transcription. Voice. 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 Voice enrollment. Okay. Let's try this. Open. No. They decided. Try it again. Voice. I don't know if it worked. All right. So Voice is not working for me, for some reason. I don't know why, but it's just not working. So it's never worked for me. It, it'll tell me like, oh, I've installed voice commands and then I, I can't use it. Weird. So, but here's something weird. You can say, um, voice commands has been redesigned with sleeker visuals. Yeah, it's invisible. Voice commands can now support a wider breadth of commands. These include take a photo to take a screenshot while you're in an immersive experience. Start casting to mirror your headset to another screen. Turn off to quickly shut down your headset. Mm, don't say that while you're using it then. <laughs> when using voice commands, you can also ask, what can I say, to see more examples of commands available to you. Known issues. Voice commands don't really work. Known issues. Side-loaded 2D applications may not be visible within your library and as a result may not be able to launch 
From the 2D main menu, as a workaround, you should now be able to view and launch these side-loaded 2D applications from within Oculus TV, which is what I usually would do. Like, in fact, side-loaded 2D applications have never been available in my library, ever, ever. They recently started showing up in unknown sources, but never in my library, so I don't know why they're saying that. Okay, fixes. Fixed a bug that caused some first-party apps to show incorrect dates below library thumbnails. Fixed a bug that caused multitasking browser window to merge into a single window when the headset was restarted. Fixed a bug that sometimes caused the wrong notification to be shown when a controller battery is low. All right, now, here's some other things that are cool for the Oculus Link, which is still related to the Oculus Quest. Improved translation accuracy on predicted poses. This improves the visual ability of up-close content under fast head motion. Fixed an issue where a gamepad could not be paired if only Quest was paired with the Oculus desktop app. Fixed an issue that prevented Quest from being detected by a PC event, though it's plugged into a compatible port. All right, guys, so that's it. Not a whole lot, um, but it is an update and you can see I had some issues. So let me know if you have issues with the voice commands. I don't know that I've talked to anybody who's able to actually successfully use the voice commands. That's it. I've got some other video I was working on today, but when I saw that this firmware had been released, I figured eh, I'll make a video. So, all right. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks.